As Ursula grinned in anticipation, Ariel hurried into the throne room. Triton was waiting for her with Sebastian at his side. I just don't know what we're going to do with you, young lady. Daddy, I'm sorry, I just forgot I- As a result of your careless behavior, careless and reckless behavior, the entire celebration was, well, it was ruined, that's all, completely destroyed. This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Now, thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the entire kingdom. Flounder, who had been hovering nearby, swam to Ariel's defense. But it wasn't her fault. Uh, well, first, uh, the shark chases. Yeah, yeah, and we tried to, but we couldn't. And he, <clears throat> and we, whoa, ah, and then, then we were safe. Then the seagull came, and it was this is this, and that is that, and seagull. What? Oh, you went up to the surface again, didn't you? Didn't you? Nothing happened. Ariel, how many times must we go through this? You could have been seen one by one of those barbarians. By one of those humans. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're, they're dangerous. Do you think I want to see my youngest daughter snared by some fish eater's hook? Daddy, I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child anymore. Don't you take that tone of voice with me, young lady. As long as you live in my ocean, you'll obey my rules. But if you would just listen, not another word, and I am never, never to hear of you going to the surface again. Is that clear? Almost in tears, Ariel rolled around and rushed out of the castle. The king thought for a moment, then turned to Sebastian. 